So if you guys remembered our previous videos regarding product photography, where we tried different AI tools like Mid Journey and Stable Diffusion, trying to get the perfect product photography for our custom image, but yeah, failed every time, keeping up the details of our initial product, but not anymore, because in this video, I'm introducing you guys the dedicated tool for product photography, which is Flare AI. So Flare AI is basically an AI tool designed for product photographies for content creators, business owners and lots of e-commerce people who are basically trying to get very realistic and accurate product photography results for their actual products which means now you don't have to see inaccurate results for your custom products because flare ai is there to help you in that purpose so yeah without further ado let's jump right into the video Alright guys, so here I am in the home page of Flare AI. So over here you guys can see we have different sample workflows in which you can go ahead and try those one by one. So yeah, if we talk about the pricing, so Flare AI offers you free plan in which you get up to 100 designs per month. You get 3 minutes of real time per day, which will be quite enough uh, to create product photographies of your different product. Or if you are wondering, you can get the plus version, the pro version which will be $10 per month in which you'll get like 5,500 real-time images. And if you want more, you can also get the Pro Plus version as well, which will be $35 per month. And which basically is totally worth it for the price because obviously now you don't have to hire those expensive graphic designers and you can do everything with the help of AI in this specific tool, right? So in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that by creating product photographies of my two to three products. So first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and create new project. And in that, this will be a kind of an interface where you get the canvas first of all. So in there, you have to drag and drop the items, right? You can go ahead and upload your own product or you can simply go ahead and take products that are already there in Flare AI next. You have the option to generate where you can simply go ahead and use the sample templates that are already there and you can get help from that and create amazing results like that will be really really accurate you guys okay then we have the prom builder so let's just if you want to customize more and more you can obviously do that with the help of a very good customizable prompt builder then we have the option of props so now in the help of that you can go ahead and take your components like take your props and simply go ahead and add those like drag and drop those one by one just like these and simply you know edit that according to your liking you can go ahead and place that in front or in back and just like that it's going to go ahead and create that in real time let's just say i take this leaf and place it right over here just you know drag and minimize it a bit and put it in the back all right so you guys saw it basically is generating in real time and as well we have our product in our original form like just as it is right then we also get the options to add humans like your models in that as well so whether it is related to female skincare and beauty models or you want the casual models or you want the male models or you just want hands holding smaller projects or you just want the hands so yeah you can get lots of customization lots of options in flare ai and also you can go ahead and edit that you can upload your own product and remove the background and you can use all of the other features but yeah most of them require the pro version and very honestly like most of them are not that much usable you can get the most out of the free version as well i'm going to show you guys in a moment okay so first of all, for demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and simply clear everything in my canvas. And first of all, I'm going to go ahead and take this product, right? So this product is basically a water bottle of Armani Exchange. So let's just say this is my own personal product. And you guys can see our left is basically generating in real time. And for now, our product looks really, really good. It's an original form, right? And now from here, I have two to three options. I can simply go to generate go to templates and simply go ahead and take any template from here. Let's just say I take this nature template. So now my water bottle has gone into nature, right? And you guys can see the results are looking absolutely perfect by now. So yeah, from here I can go ahead and simply take any other template. Let's just say I go to this wine option that will perfectly suit uh, our product over here and I can take this one and you guys can see our result is looking absolutely perfect till now right so we have our product right in the middle and in the background we have very amazing kind of a nature thing which looks really really good right so yeah let's just go ahead and take some other template I'm gonna take this uh, maroon and black one this looks really really cool 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and simply click on generate all right wow so take a look at this right this looks absolutely perfect by now but yeah for most of you guys you guys might be wondering like this looks very very like dull we don't have any more components in that so don't worry we can go ahead and use uh, the other options of Flare AI. I can go to my props and I can simply add more and more things right over here. So let's just say I want to go ahead and add some plants into that. So I can go ahead and go to view all and select the most suitable plants uh, that will look good in this, right? So let's just say I want to go ahead and select uh, this leaf. I'm going to click on that. So this way it's going to appear over here. I'm going to minimize it just to make it small and from here, I can click on back and this way my leaf is going to go into the back, right? So now from here, I will add more and more props. So next I can go to my tools option and I can select this tool, let's just say, and I'll simply place that right over in here. All right, this looks good. Then the next one, I can simply go to the decorative garnish and select this leaf as well. All right, this looks good. I'm going to place it back so that, you know, my product is right in front, right? So yeah, this place is looking a bit empty. So in that, I can simply go ahead and add a bit of art, right? So yeah, you guys can see, I'm not much very experienced into that. I'm just doing it as per my liking, just to show you guys, you know, by doing lots of weird uh, things as well, you can get accurate results too, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and place it right over here. And now let's just go ahead and click on generate and see how it looks now with all of these different props, okay? All right, so take a look at this, you guys. It basically kind of managed all my things right over here. And we have our leaf, oh, we have our decorative garnish, we have our stool, we have our uh, kind of a cupboard. And yeah, the product looks a bit weird because obviously I wasn't like too much accurate uh, with my placings in that. But yeah, it was a good demo for you guys, like how you can go ahead and create amazing product photography of your results without any problem, right? So now let's just go ahead and be more realistic. I'm gonna delete everything from my canvas. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and select this product. So this is basically a lip gloss. So I'm going to go ahead and do exact props this time for my product. Simply go ahead and go to props. And now, first of all, I'm going to go ahead and choose the platforms and display like on which thing I want this to be placed, right? So I'm going to go ahead and select this one. Okay, I'm going to place it right over here. Put my product in the top and make sure this is placed on the back, right? Yeah, and this looks really, really good for now. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the flowers. So I'm gonna choose uh, these white flowers and place it on the left, you guys. Make it a bit smaller, all right? It should be on front, looks good. All right, so from there, I can go to my cosmetic, uh, you know, just props and simply select a good cosmetic from here. So let's just say I want to go ahead and select uh, this one, all right, I think this would look good for our product of lip gloss. I'm going to go ahead and try it over here. And on the right side, I want to place my model. So I'm going to go to uh, the human section and simply go ahead and take any model from female skincare. All right, so yeah, from here. I'm going to go ahead and select this model looking perfect for our product. I'm going to just minimize it a little bit. Place her right over here, you guys. All right. So yeah, you guys can see this is looking absolutely perfect for now. So now I have to go ahead and choose my background. So for that, I'm going to go to the generate section, click on templates, go to the monochrome section, and I'm going to go ahead and select the best uh, one from here. So I'm very much liking the this beige one. The first one is going to look good. So I'm going to select this one. And now I have to go to my prom builder, recheck everything looks good. The placement is good. Surrounding is good. The background is good. We have the reference image. Make sure your correct color option is turned on so that everything, you know, just blend and matches very good in the environment, all right? So now from here, I'm going to simply click on generate. So wow, take a look at this, you guys. This looks absolutely perfect, right? So we have our product right in the middle. Looks really, really good. And we have some flowers blended in that. Then he has some few shades of our lip gloss and the model on the right. So everything, you know, turned out really, really good. We have very accurate results, just the way we wanted. So there you go, guys. This was the exploration of the new AI tool, Flare AI. How you can go ahead and transform your product photography into a new level. So yeah, I hope you like this video, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.